From biophysics, we know that the fluctuations of this magnetic field have an impact on our mental state. This theory is clearly supported by several statistics. On days with strong fluctuations in the magnetic field, the admission numbers of new patients to psychiatric clinics increase. Traffic and on-the-job accidents happen in particularly large numbers. Birth figures and death rates, even stock markets worldwide, react to the sun, according to a survey conducted by the Federal Reserve Bank in the U.S. Knowing this, it should not come as a great surprise that the dates of rise and decline of great civilizations coincide with the activity of the sun. energetic mass eruptions, so-called solar flares, can cause major changes to the magnetic field of the Earth. It doesn't regard a dis destruction of the world. Our mind that is only linked to the electromagnetic field, and scientists do prove this, will collapse. But we will not die. We found the date which is the 20th of May, 2012, related to an annular solar eclipse and related to the uh, alineation of the Pleiades, the Sun and the Earth, and in this case, even with the Moon. Well, 2012 is, the, first of all, not just from the Mayan tradition, it's from many yeah. traditions. And it's what is going on. We are developing our inner senses, that is not our sight. Well, I think science as we know it has developed within the mechanistic paradigm. Uh, it gives us very little understanding of the nature of the mind. And this is one of the most unexplored areas in all of science. If several short and long-term sun cycles are overlapping, it can result in an extraordinary maximum activity with the respective effects on the magnetic field of the Earth and the human psyche, the human consciousness. An event of this kind is expected by sun researchers of the NASA and other institutions to take place in the near future, probably even in the year 2012. And that point, all possibilities will be open, good and bad. If our brain succeeds in producing the neurotransmitters in question due to an increased sun activity, will we all in the next few years perceive things that seem to be hallucinations or experiences that won't fit into our conception of the world? Will we be able to realize that we're not crazy or sick, but are experiencing something natural, something that helps us to see. We're all part of the big picture. <laughs>